What's up guys? So um, I have been slacking big time this year, so far this shed season anyways. I'm on my only my second or third hike of the year and it's almost April. Been watching a lot of bulls this winter instead of just, you know, trying to keep tabs on them. Unfortunately, they've been pushed around the last two weekends. It's the middle of the week right now, so I'm hoping I can find them again. And hopefully they've dropped because it's almost April, but they've been hanging on tight this year for whatever reason. Um, so I've been trying to keep my distance and see if I could watch them a little bit more. But anyways, just getting started for the day. Got a long ways to go. Just kind of working up a middle ridge here. I got canyons on both sides, glassing across those. So we will see what happens. So stay tuned. Well, it's not much, but it's the first shed of the year. Looks like a brown deer shed. Just a two point, decent sized two point. Not what I was expecting to find clear up here, but it's better than nothing. All right guys, just a quick update. I am getting my butt kicked. Like physically, I am out of shape. Um, on a positive note, I did just glass up a really big looking shed. It looks like a big five point elk shed. But it's clear across this big canyon that I was not going to cross. But now I kind of have to. But I'm going to try to show you through the binoculars. This could be a little iffy, but we're gonna try. There it is. Anyways, we're gonna have to go get that. I think somebody's a little bit worn out. Stormy doesn't want to hike anymore. Stormy, let's go. I've been going through waist deep snow for the last hour, trying to cross this dang canyon. Sometimes it's even deeper than waist deep, but I'm getting close. I'm maybe a hundred yards from the ridge where that big shed is, and it looks like a good shed. Looks just like a giant five point, unless the fifth is hidden somewhere that I can't see. I can just see nice thirds, big sword, and then it kind of disappears from there but it's white, looks like a solid horn for sure. I'm hoping the match is somewhere close to it, but I am pretty beat. I am out of shape. Stormy doesn't love life right now. <laughs> she keeps trying to quit on me, but oh well, she's gonna have to toughen it up. Let's go get it. Finally, almost out of the snow. Onto at least dry patches of land. But see these hiking sticks come up to my chest. That's deep. But getting closer. Just keep trucking. Not exactly sure what I just found, but it looks crazy. It's super old and chalky. I'm gonna bury it out and get. Oh, what the? Are you kidding me? What in the heck is this? Look at that thing. That is crazy. 
No way I'm gonna keep it intact either. All right, guys, well, this ridge is killing it for me. I glassed up the big shed. I still haven't got to it yet. I know I'm getting close. And so I'm just trying to pick my way through it. It's super thick. And I just came across the side-by-side -side set. It's not brown, it looks hard white. Um, one of them's buried in the snow, but it looks like a decent bowl. So pretty stoked. This ridge is awesome. I just wish it wasn't halfway covered in snow. I'm sure it's hiding a few more up here. But anyways, let's check them out. All right, well, there it is. Got a couple pictures. Here's that side. The other side is right there. It's a pretty sweet bowl, honestly. I haven't seen what the rest of this side looks like, but let's see if I can set my phone up and we can dig it out. All right, that's as good as it's gonna get, so. Big old front. Heck yeah. Check this sucker out. The other side's identical. Just a solid bowl. Pretty sweet. I'm stoked. Let's go get the other side now. All right, I'm gonna go grab that set and put it together for you guys. All right, guys. Not sure if you can see this or not. Here's that set. Pretty sweet bowl, pretty pumped. Just solid all the way through, big front. Good mass, short beams, but he's awesome. I'll take this any day, so. Still gotta go get the other one I glassed up, which looks big too, so. I'm sure there's more laying on this ridge. But there's a lot of snow on this ridge still too, so we'll just have to see what happens. <coughs> All right, guys. Finally made it to the one I glassed up and it looks like a good bowl for sure. It looks like a really solid horn. Still think it's just a great big five, but not 100% sure. So let's go check him out. Looks super heavy. Took me forever to find him. This whole ridge looks the same. Big old sword. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a solid, that's a big bowl. Whew. Giant five. Pull him out and get a better look at him. That's a stud. Yes. Check that beam out. Holy crap, and that sword. This is a big bull. Dang it, I wish the other side was right here close. It still could be. I'm gonna definitely have to look around. This is a stud. Let's throw it out in the open. Holy crap. 
Yeah, that's a bit. Check that thing out. Woo! All right, guys, heading back. My phone is about to die and might die during this clip, but anyways, it's been a heck of a time getting back, got ledged in, whole bunch of stuff. But look at this nice bonus right here. Big old brown, heck yeah. Can't beat that, pretty cool bull. Not a giant, but cool for sure. Big back. Well, sorry guys, I couldn't really keep you updated. My phone died uh, coming down the mountain right as I found my last big brown shed, but I couldn't use it as much as I'd like to. Long story short, I got cliffed in coming off the mountain pretty bad and had to hike all the way back up out of this steep, nasty canyon with all the elk sheds on my back. And then I went down the ridge just to hit the bottom and be in waist deep snow for at least a mile and a half to two miles. It was pretty terrible <laughs> to be real honest. But then I hit the sage flat and that's when I found that brown on the way back right at dark. So, but it kind of sucked because I only got to shed hunt half the day basically because of my screw up and getting clipped in and then fighting all the snow. So, but I ended up with four big elk horns and two deer horns, one super cool old chalky one. I packed it off the mountain anyways, just cause it was so unique, but that's it for today. I'm glad to be back to the truck. I'll tell you that much.